everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Bug Out with Bree. This week, we are going to be talking about spiders. One spider in particular, the bold jumping spider. Spiders have elicited fear and curiosity throughout human history. Spiders belong to a group of animals called arachnids. We talked about this in a previous video. There are over 45,000 species of spiders, and they all have eight legs, spin silk, and inject venom. But not all spiders are something you should fear. When people think of spiders, they often think of their beautiful webs. But there are some spiders that don't produce webs. Spiders use their silk for climbing, making egg sacs, and wrapping prey. But where does this silk come from? Most spiders have four or more openings, or glands on their abdomens, called spinnerets. When the spider releases the silk, it looks like a thread, but it's actually many thin threads that stick together. As soon as the liquid silk hits the air, it hardens. Some spiders will build webs to catch prey, but there are a lot of spiders who prefer to hunt. For example, the jumping spider will pounce on its prey, and just to be safe, it spins a safety line so that if it misses its mark, it can climb home again. The bull jumping spider, Phytopis otix, occurs across North America. The natural habitats of bull jumping spiders are grasslands, prairies, and open woodlands. They also occur in agricultural habitat and are frequently found in backyards and gardens. I found this one here crawling on my ceiling one day. The most distinctive features on the jumping spider are the eight eyes. The forward-facing eyes are the largest of all of the eyes. If you look at the spider, the forward-facing eyes are the ones that look back at you. To the side and behind, those eyes are the smaller eyes. Jumping spiders have very keen eyesight, and eyesight is essential for hunting and courting. These spiders are hairy. The cephalothorax and the abdomen are black with little white hairs. The abdomen is distinctly marked. In the middle of the abdomen, there is a large triangle white spot. The large spot may be orange and juvenile. The hind legs are responsible for propelling the spider into a leap. Some people believe that spiders can fly. This is due to the fact that for their size, they jump very far, six times their body length. By comparison, humans are typically able to jump one and a half times their body length. Although the bold jumping spider can produce venom, the bite is not dangerous to humans. The bold jumper is a carnivorous predator and hunts alone during the day. They eat a wide variety of insects and other spiders. They actively watch their prey with their powerful vision and they sneak up on their prey before pouncing and injecting venom. They have been observed to have different stalking strategies for different types of prey, approaching flies from different angles and jumping from a different distance. Male and female bull jumpers hunt differently too. Males prefer smaller prey and spend less time hunting and feeding, and females prefer larger prey and feed more often. Jumping spiders have strong visual acuity and use vision more than most spiders. Visual communication plays a strong role in reproductive behavior as well. Male jumping spiders will do a dance to show the female why he's there by lifting his legs to communicate. The jumping spider is an important predator of insects, and spiders have a unique way to help control the insect population in our environment. If you find a spider jumping around your home, it's most likely a jumping spider. Remember, not all spiders are dangerous. In fact, there are only a couple species that would cause harm. If you see a jumping spider, let it hang around or set it safely back outside. See you next week for more Bug Out with Bree.